Greetings, Pathological Tires, and welcome to our third installment of Flycrafter Patterns and Techniques. I'm glad you could join us today. We're going to spend the next hour or so working on six more patterns, six favorite patterns of mine. And before we get started, let's talk real briefly again about a couple things that you want to address in tying Be Comfortable. Uh, I think it's probably the most important along with good tools, sharp scissors, and that sort of thing. These days you can buy a good chair, a comfortable chair with a lot of adjustments uh, without having to break, break the bank to do that. I strongly recommend that. Now make sure that your table's not too high or too low. Be comfortable, you know, in general have your forearms in that 20 or 25 degree angle for the ergonomics of the thing. Uh, and, and remember that, that this tying, particularly my tying, is about technique. It's about proportions. It's not about speed and numbers. So let's get started. Uh, our first fly that we're going to do today is what I call the IC spinner. Capital I, capital C. But what that means basically is I can see. I see the spinner. Uh, most fly fishermen, dry fly fishermen in particular, love a spinner fall. Uh, lots of flies, the fish get into that real steady feeding behavior, but one of the problems about most spinners, uh, good patterns and bad patterns, is there's no indicator. There's no way uh, for you to be able to see that fly riding low in the film, so we're going to uh, address that situation. So we're going to do a size 14 to start with here, so let's get started. Um, I have a standard size 14 dry fly hook in the vise. We're going to use 8 aught rusty brown thread. And we're going to get started up here right by the eye. Let's not take our thread all the way back. We're going to do that later anyway, maybe, you know, a third of the way. And come back in a wing position and free your spinner. That's going to be about a fifth of the hook shank back from the eye. 